Hello everybody, my name is Kugaweed, and today I'm going to be giving you my thoughts on Godzilla and Kong, The New Empire. Uh, before we get into anything, I would like to mention that I will be um, mentioning some spoilers in this video, so if you don't want to be spoiled, go see the movie yourself. Um, yeah, so the first thing I would like to say about the movie is that it's very silly like way sillier than last one which was Godzilla vs Kong which up until the release of GXK um, was the silliest movie in the MonsterVerse and I like G I like um, Godzilla vs Kong very much I liked it very much uh, the, well the fight scene specifically I mean I, I, I've never really been fan of um, you know the human character plot lines but I've also never really minded them uh, and I specifically liked all of Godzilla's scenes because I'm going to I'm going to be very serious to you. I'm going to be very serious about this. I only really care about Godzilla. I uh, Kong Kong he's okay like yeah sure if Kong if Kong is the good guy in the scene and you know if he's if we are supposed to be rooting for him then then yeah I can I can hold up my fist in the air and you know cheer Kong on but uh whenever Godzilla's on screen ooh all my focus on that big green boy even though he's gray in the monsterverse and black in the um rest of them oh no wait he wait he's he's green in Godzilla 2000 he's green there and the sequel to Godzilla 2000 <laughs> all right let's let's stop kidding around so let's actually get to it so overall i like the movie very much i i knew what i was going in for i I, I knew that this wasn't going to be, you know, the uh, Godzilla minus one experience. This isn't going to be, you know, uh, dramatic, all that stuff. This isn't going to be really realistic. And I think due to the re I think due to that, me going into this movie and expecting something silly, I enjoyed my time with it very much. The human part was, I would actually say the human part was more interest was more interesting to me than uh, than in Godzilla versus Kong and Kong's parts were also pretty interesting I mean Kong is literally Kratos from God of War 2018 now I mean he has an adopted son or a son figure I presume in Suko which by the way is a character in there it's a tiny ape uh, fathered, uh, or at least uh, this is my theory. Actually, no, this isn't really a theory. This is more or less confirmed in the film, um, which is uh, a, which is a, a child ape fathered by the Scar King, which is the uh, main villain in this movie. Yeah, there is no human villain. There is no human villain. There's uh, there's only kaiju. There's only a kaiju villain. And of course, uh, the other the other kind of villain, which I hesitate to call a villain, is uh, the ancient Frost Titan. I don't know the official title title of it, but um, it's uh, Shimo, which is I believe another confirmed female Titan, uh, like like Mafra, like the female Mudo from 2014, and uh, also like the Queen Mudo from uh, Godzilla: King of the Monsters. All right, let's uh, do 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 do. What would what would I want to talk about next? Ah, yes, some of my uh, some of the highlights for me of this movie. Uh, number one, Godzilla in Rome. This was a this was interesting, and this this was the moment that I formed a thought in my brain that right now the MonsterVerse is exact. Well, not exactly, but it is like the Showa period of Godzilla, because. Okay, this so this is you know just me just me seeing a coincidence most likely, but I would like you to entertain the thought with me. Godzilla 2014, very serious, very realistic, kind of like Godzilla 1954 or you know, Gojira. You know the original one, the the one that started the, all of this. Yeah. And then, and then. I mean, Kong Skull Island, we're not really going to count that because that isn't really a Godzilla movie. It is a MonsterVerse movie, but it isn't a Godzilla movie. It's a King Kong movie. And will always be a King Kong I mean, there's, there's no doubt about it. Why am I even talking about this? And then Godzilla, King of the Monsters, in 2019, it's kind of like Godzilla Raids again. It's like, it's still serious, 
but you know, it's still serious. It's still you know somewhat serious. There's not there's no real goofy elements about it. And uh, honestly, just like Godzilla raids again, it was. Um, I mean, Godzilla King of the Monsters was, as far as I'm aware, received poorly. I mean, I love I absolutely love the film, but uh, you know, I I tend to love any any Godzilla stuff. Well, most Godzilla stuff. Actually, no, any Godzilla stuff. Yeah, I tend to love that. And then, of course, we had Godzilla vs. Kong, which, of course, the long-awaited rematch uh, of King Kong vs. Godzilla, which was originally in 1962, I believe. And, of course, they had, you know, the rematch 2021. And that movie, that movie, King Kong vs. Godzilla and Godzilla vs. Kong, both more sillier movies than the predecessors. And now, it continues with GXK. I mean, I can't be the only one who kind who sees this as, you know, sort of a return of the Showa period energy. Of the vibe of the Showa era. Which, honestly, for a guy who, well, at that time was definitely not alive, I like this. I, I like this. Very much I like this. But yeah, Godzilla in Rome... Oh, nice. My, my, I have to say the, the highlight of this entire section of the movie, which is fairly small, but still, was Godzilla sleeping like a cat in uh, the Colosseum, which, in the end of the movie, he returns to. So, I assume that, <laughs> I don't know, I assume Godzilla just, you know, <laughs> I guess he's a giant kaiju of commitment. He wanted to finish his nap there, so he's gonna go finish his nap there. But it does fit. It does fit the character. All right. Next up is the fight in Cairo. Well, more or less Egypt. Uh, I don't think Cairo. No, no, no. It was stated near, to be near Cairo. So yeah, Cairo, Egypt, Africa. <laughs> now this fight, it's a. Uh, you know, it's kind of like a kind of... Re- it's it's definitely a kind of rematch between Godzilla and Kong. Uh, Kong, of course, having his um, beast glove, I believe it's called. And, of course, Godzilla being evolved. Having absorbed, you know, the nuclear power from France. And, of course, um, one-shotting Tiamat. Tiamat, I believe it's pronounced. And, of course, absorbing, I don't know, I think solar... Mag- solar magnetic something radiation from I don't know the North Pole some some form of Arctic somewhere in the Arctic I think North Pole South Pole something B- B- big ice big ice Godzilla shoots atomic breath very nice like me like <laughs> all right so nah, let's just pretend I didn't completely switch off my brain there. But yeah, uh, this fight, I would say, I mean, the result was exactly what I expected, which was Godzilla overpowers Kong, even though Kong is, you know, very strong, very strong now. Plus, yeah, he has the, you know, beast glove. Godzilla, Godzilla, he's just, in this movie, he's an absolute powerhouse. (laughs) Kind of like me in the gym today, before I saw the film. But yeah. Yeah. Definitely, definitely a big highlight for me in the movie. Although the final, although the final fight between, uh, between uh, you know Kong, Godzilla, and uh, between Godzilla and Kong, uh, you know versus the Scar King and Shimo that in um, in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, uh, that was that was also pretty good. All right, now Kong's storyline. I mean, this is definitely a, this is definitely a mostly uh, King Kong focused movie. I mean, I, I I like the story. I, I very much like the story. I, I like the section at the end where he finally, you know, gets a true home. That isn't just, I don't know, his uh, man cave in the side of a cliff. Very much like it, very much. But of course, <laughs> Godzilla is where Godzilla is where all my focus was on. And Godzilla surprisingly does appear... Well... Kind of sparsely in this movie. I really would have loved to see more more of Godzilla, but uh, I think Adam Wingard utilized Godzilla very well in this film, very well. 
I mean, sure, could I used of more? Could I use? Could I have used more of Godzilla? Yes, but am I satisfied? Also, yes. Also, I would like to mention that from the uh, when it was first revealed, I was not a fan of Godzilla of uh, evolved Godzilla's looks, but this design, I've done the. I've done the most 180 thing in my life, and I've completely turned around from, you know, disliking it to absolutely loving it. I love this design. I especially love that it, I especially love that this design has um, phagomizers on its tail, kind of like Stegosaurus. Although I'm, I am a little disappointed that Godzilla didn't use uh, the phagomizers in combat. So. I mean, if if Evolve Godzilla sticks around for future MonsterVerse uh, Mon MonsterVerse stuff, m well, movies, maybe uh, you know more novel, more visual novels. Um, I really do hope we get to see Godzilla actually utilize the Phagomizers, because he didn't use them in the movie. Yeah. All right. Uh, now the elephant in the room. Which do I like more, Godzilla minus one? Or GXK. And I'm going to be 100% honest with you. It's GXK. I just... I prefer this movie to Godzilla Minus One. Godzilla Minus One... I mean, congratulations to it finally winning an Oscar for the Godzilla franchise after, you know, 70 years in existence. But... I just like GXK more. I personally, I'm not saying that it's a better film, but in terms of monster action, way better. <laughs> All right, I hope I didn't make some. Pe I hope um, I didn't make people angry with this. Um, more monsterverse content will be. You know, well, I do have more ideas for monsterverse uh, videos, but that is it for now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you are gonna go see this movie. Um, or if you've already seen it, I would love to see comments. I would love to see what you uh, liked about the movie, what you didn't dislike, uh, what you disliked about the movie, maybe. And I will see you all next week. Goodbye. Oh, whoops, wrong buttons. <laughs>